Here's a solution to problem 4.1.49 from Roxwald's Algebra. So we're going to solve this system of linear equations by graphing. Uh, since we do need to graph both of these lines, that's easiest to do if we have, it, have them both in slope-intercept form. So let's put them both in slope-intercept form. Remember, putting a linear equation in slope-intercept form is just a matter of solving for y. So we need to isolate this y here. In this first equation, just add x to both sides, and you get y equals x plus 1. So let's graph that. Uh, the y-intercept for this line is going to be 1. So we'll put our y-intercept there. And then the slope for this first line is the number multiplying x, which is 1. Remember, when there's nothing there, it's really a 1 that's there. Uh, so starting at the y-intercept, we go right 1 and up 1, right 1 and up 1, and so on. So we get a line that's something like this. I'll try to be accurate with it. Something like that. Okay. Now for the second line, we'll just do the same thing. Rearrange this equation so it's in slope-intercept form. Uh, this time we're going to subtract x from both sides. We get y equals minus 1, I'm sorry, minus x, minus 1. Now we can graph that. Minus 1 is right here for our y-intercept. And the slope is minus 1, so that's right 1 down 1, right 1 down 1, like this. And you can see it looks like both lines intersect right here at the point right here. That's the point minus 1, comma 0. So it looks like the solution for this equation is given by the point minus 1, comma 0. Now, whenever you solve a system by graphing, uh, since really graphing is an approximate method, since you can't be totally exact when you graph, uh, you really should check to see if your solution actually works. And remember to check a, system, a solution for a system of equations. Just take this point that we got, minus 1, comma 0, and plug it into both equations and see if it works. So for the first equation, we get minus x, which is minus 1, plus y, which is 0. Is that equal to 1? Uh, yes, minus minus 1 is equal to 1, so that worked. And then for the other equation, x plus y equals minus 1, we get minus 1, that's x, plus y, which is 0. Is that equal to minus 1? Yes. So uh, this point that we got, minus 1, comma 0, really is a solution to the system of equations. If you're doing this problem online, your numbers will be different, but the ideas will be the same.